Hello everyone, my name is Joshua and I'll be solving 10 days of JavaScript, day 2 conditional statements with switch statements. So let's begin. We get the get letter function and it has one parameter, a string s, consisting of lowercase English alphabetical letters. So it must return an a, b, c, or d based on the criteria. So if it's within the set, it's an a, if it's within the set, it's a b, if it's within the set, c, this one d. And then we only want to care about the first character in the string. Oh, and we get to learn about the one of the string functions, care at, or this indexing function that gets the character that we want. In this case, it's the first character. Feel free to check these resources here to understand about switches and strings. So what is a switch statement? A switch is almost like an if-else condition. Look that up if you don't know what that is. But I'll summarize. It checks like if you're with it having this certain condition um, based on the parameter provided by the switch. In this case, it's that one parameter, which is the first character of the string. Then if it fulfills like the condition where it has one of these case scenarios, then it will execute the code per that condition. In this case, it returns a letter based on that one. Too complicated? Let me show you. First, we, you start the switch statement with a switch. It has enclosed in curly brackets, different cases. For example, we want to start with the A E I O U. All right, and here we have the letter S. But since we want only the first character, we do S to care act. And since the indexing starts from position zero, that goes on. The first position is going to start with the position zero. That's the first character of the letter. Now we assign it. If it's one of these cases, A, E, I, O, U, we return A. In this case, just to make sure that you guys can understand what's going on, the letter here is going to be A, just like that. Now you, oh wait, is it lowercase or uppercase? Okay, uppercase, good. Now you might be wondering, okay, but why didn't I just define a letter in each of these brackets? I mean, isn't that how you're supposed to do that? To make sure that if it fulfills this condition, then it should pass it as such, like this for each part? Well, kind of, but here's how switch statements work. So the only way you can stop it from executing a code if it fulfills a condition is with a break statement. So let's just say that this s.caret is an A. That means if it will execute this code here, since it's an A, but there's no break statement below, it's going to execute the case code below it, which is E. And since there's no break statement, it executes I, then O, then U. If I define a break statement here, it's going to assign that letter equals A, but it'll stop executing and exit out of the switch statement. So the moral lesson, always add a break statement to indicate that all the cases above have their code executed, but you want to end it at that break statement, hence break away. Now, the whole ranges here will take a long time to define. I'm going to go ahead and type this all out. Um, intermission. All right, guys, I have it here ready. I'm going to just explain it here. So within a set of A, E, I, O, U, it should return an A. Um, in this case, I could, what return does is that exit out of the switch statement and returns A directly. But you can also have it this way, letter is equal to A, then break. Then I can do it here, letter equals B for the set of, if it's one of the conditions right here, it fulfills it, it executes starting at that case down below until it reaches a break. If I do it like that, same thing here. Let me just, I was showing you how to do it return statements, which is much more cleaner in my opinion, but some people prefer it in certain standards. Just make sure you conform with it with the rest of your team. There you go. Now if I run this, it should pass. Great, now I submit code. Awesome. All right, guys, I hope you like this content. And if you do, based on your DNA, it's gonna, I'm gonna put your DNA into a machine that it will take not just the first, but the second character as well. And if it follows a certain criteria via some squish statements, it's gonna tell you whether you're gonna live um, for a long life, 150 years, or a short but, okay, that was kind of random, and probably not a good joke. Someone awkwardly moved my mouse to the stop recording sign.